to keep you updated, Listín Diario, the newspaper for the Dominicans, presents the most important news of the day. Wednesday, June 21st of 2023. The Gasco sector of the National District has an invaluable architectural heritage, but every day the heritage houses deteriorate more and more, along with other evils that have contributed to the loss of the charm that has characterized the area for decades. The Nuestra Señora de la Altagracia Maternity University Teaching Hospital and the San Lorenzo de los Miras Maternal and Child Hospital in the National District and the Municipality of Santo Domingo Este, respectively, are the maternity hospitals of Gran Santo Domingo to which they resort to give birth to the largest number of Haitian women in childbirth. With the approach of the new school year, the Ministry of Education launches a series of changes that seek to improve educational quality with respect to the ending period, which includes the incorporation of 38 polytechnics who now have the tools to function as such. The president of the Central Electoral Board, Roman Jaques Liranzo, warned that if the body detects the use of illicit resources during the electoral campaign coming from organized crime, drug trafficking, or money laundering, it will report it to the criminal jurisdiction. The first collegiate court of the National District ordered the maximum penalty of 30 years in prison for three civilians found guilty of committing aggravated acts of barbarism to the detriment of the young man David de los Santos in addition to 15 years in prison against a second lieutenant and a police officer. For this and more information, you can visit listindiario.com for Listing Diario voiceover and translations by Indira Rodriguez. To keep you updated, Listín Diario, the newspaper for the Dominicans, presented the most important news of the day.